South Africa's border with Mozambique is becoming quite a major concern and uh, this for authorities responsible for it. But aside from the long line of trucks waiting to cross, it also sees a large number of illegal immigrants crossing over. ENCA's senior reporter Avi Mdila is currently in Komati Bird, this in Mbumalanga, just a few kilometers uh, from the Libombo border post. And he joins me live now to give us, of course, the latest from what he sees and hears uh, from where he stands. Avi, a very warm good morning to you colleague i mean just take us through what the picture looks like from where you are because in as much as we have you know a focus today on our porous borders we know that it's a it's an issue for south africa across the country where various borders uh, are facing particularly challenges when it comes to immigrants crossing over to south africa illegally mm -hmm. And challenges as well, Tumelo, if you're looking at the trucking industry, trying to make their way uh, in and out of South Africa, especially to Mozambique. I am at the Limbombo border post. Well, I actually calculated. I'm 9.4 kilometers away from the Limbombo border post, but the trucks are already snaking here in queues making their way to the border. Where we are is just opposite a truck stop, where it's their first stop where they need to make their documentations. There are truck controllers on the ground here that help the truckers uh, and the drivers themselves with the documentation. It's stop number one heading to the border where they have to again stop and also make those stops. In fact, I want to speak to one of the truck controllers here and I've also got a driver here. Just to get a sense of uh, the difficulties. Remy, thank you for joining us at ENCA. Investment. Still, driver driver Bayam Chigi is a Uma Ilan is a hectare spray to Funegala Buele Wopi, hectare spray. Utologo Stares, why couldn't it delay Lady Ningila, driver Utologo to Upalela Nan, Gulja, Imali, Tologo to driver, Utala Avenja, Starati, Sotanitan Utologo, okay, Gunala Banya Band to Tologo Saba, Sebendela Ama Kampan, Baya Banya Dabo driver, with Bangang and La Petrak stop, because Uma driver Angadela Petrak stop. Lana Gunga na kona ngel awa ngel awa ba chacha maleni ten rand eno guna la manye ma kampani yobu yama truck drive awa na wuma account yonge na gope a truck stop unge na ngel mali yako gope a pagitin yeah banga tola na you use that bridge between uh, the truck stop and the drivers Tumelo you heard there uh, the papers that he's got he received yesterday afternoon at yeah. around two o'clock he went to bed. And those drivers that gave him these papers that need to be documented at the truck stop are still in the queue here, some 9.4 kilometers away from the actual border post. They slept here, Tumelo, and he's telling me that uh, on busy days, it takes some uh, three or so days just to get uh, through this border post. But mm. Uh, that is why into hinga hamba right. South Africa, Gashigashi, Bantbala, South Africa, Fana Nabusar, Saboda Gate, Gashigashi, Baya Villa, Putologo, but the system you offline. Matrag, Atale, Wonke, Lila, Gashiga to Tologo, but the Inzaben system are you. Mood Usend and Pepe around uh, 12 o'clock, so Tologo, Tina, so Tola uh, around 5 o'clock, Oksasa, mm. eh, around 5 o'clock, but the system are you. Those IT glitches, Dumelo, are telling us that they're normally told that the system is offline and these drivers have to wait for those uh, long periods of time until that system is back and working again. Of course, also mentioning just the infrastructure woes, how this N4 road needs to be extended and cater particularly for the trucking uh, industry and the drivers, one particular lane and the next lane uh, itself, just for the ordinary cars that go to their borders here. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can get a drive. I see one of the drivers here. This is one of the drivers making his way into South Africa, coming from Mozambique. What time did you get here? How difficult is it normally to get through uh, the Libombo border post? Okay. Uh, 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Eli Nilba a better because of La Matrak La Mania Alai Shekten. Matrak Matrak Lai Sadok Manning La Ayam Zambi. So, uh, you can go to Ufige, uh, like Exene, and then you can go to Unganak Sasa because of the tracks, Manning Matrak. And then Nalindela Ingan and I see seven things Matrak pair. And then a border cage. You know, sometimes we have to the system even down or when I last start my paper like a tripod. We have to the system even down. And then by the end of the manual, my manual is the more my track is being. And then after that, I end the EQ head. Mm. So Tumelo, this truck driver telling us that uh, the, the, the easier days to go through here would be Sunday, Monday and Tuesday where it takes at least uh, a day. You arrive in the morning and possibly leave the following days. It's these two stops that have the glitches. We are told that the system is offline and they have to do things manually. But why Kunalenda was is in Bini so when's my documents? Lana, na pipe or a post. But why was one when I get bono? Yes, in Abalula Wuti, Ibe in the one lay one, maybe like a buy in the light tripod. Sad with Mausugala, who shoot us straight to your Mzambi. I was over to your foot a porter gate. Or it's either side in the porter gate and then Tia Ambassia Pambi. So any end to Minanga understanding a passport. So we do stem every day. So, but we pass here. Every day, and a uh, passport is too expensive now. Uh, we are going to Puma, why in a before a month or a week or to Usha is team to Usha is team so would it be long or harm? But we are not because of I don't know. I, I am born uh, is that so would it such a passport every day, yeah? Uh, because of what I'm at delays in a corner, home face, especially. I'm a chief change. Yeah, so he doesn't see the reason, Tumelo, really why they have to get that passport stamp every day, given that they use this route almost on a daily basis if they don't sleep here. So they have to, every time they pass the border, get those stamps. They're suggesting why not do it in a weekly basis or maybe a monthly basis because it's one of those uh, issues that delay. But my last question, don't these companies that you work for uh, provide the money for the stamps or money for you to eat and be hydrated. Maushelela. Aban pataleli imali ama passport ne malio kuja njema ni seni seli la ni inzu. No, yoku ya ba bus provide because they know they secure them. And then a passport, no, a passport because iyako ukose velo zenzi a passport. And then if ana ni ID, mau yenzi ID because banga kwenye a passport and then maybe ungatali even a month or maybe a week. So I was I was seven zap or seven zap pan beer, but seven again the passport. So a passport if I know what is a personal issue, what they will be now. Yeah, I have a passport. Thank you very much, uh, So telling us there that uh, while they do get provided uh, money for food, it's the passports and these regular stamps that need to happen that the companies don't cater for. It's their own duties. Tumelo, the queue now may be some 9.4 kilometers away from the Libombo border post, but ordinarily, hearing from the truck drivers, hearing from the authorities, it actually stretches uh, some 35 kilometers on busy days. If you are to calculate then the number of trucks that go through the Limombo border post uh, on those busy days, we're told it's something uh, from at least 1,800 to some 2,200 trucks that have to go through here. But you, you hear those system glitches time and again, uh, systems being offline. You heard from the truck controller earlier on, Remy telling us that the trucks that he served, the papers that he was assisting, arrived here at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. yesterday, and they still at the first uh, point of entry, at the first point where they need to get their documentation, still some 10 kilometers away from the actual border post. So it talk to the system glitches that uh, continue to be a burden to the truckers and the businesses that are actually making their livelihoods across the Libombo border post here. A significant point you're making there, colleague, about you know the livelihoods being impacted, the business being impacted, overall the economy as well being impacted by the system glitch because these are recurring challenges 
challenges that seem to be faced over and over again out the, uh, at the border and seems like there's no resolution in sight to address them quite urgently. But colleague, we'll come back to you as soon as there are other developments. Avi Wimtila, just about nine kilometers uh, outside the Libombo post. And of course, we're seeing there what truck drivers, trucking businesses, logistics companies have to deal with uh, when having to cross in between Mozambique and South Africa. You could say that indeed quite a negative impact on one's livelihood, on businesses, but on the overall economy when we still have such, you know, systems failures uh, when it comes to border control.